Hello, this is Arian Foster, professional running back. And today's tip is another very important tip as a running back that is underrated, and that's hands. Hands, how to get these things better. Um, a lot of the times when uh, you're out and about, living life, you don't have a quarterback. Um, you know, I think the most important thing that, that, that you need to understand if you want to get to the professional level is it's not what you do in front of people that counts, it's what you do when nobody's looking. And putting in the work, putting in the time and the effort all the time when nobody's looking, that, that's how you get better as an athlete. Sometimes you don't have a quarterback. And as a running back, I, th I think it's, it's, it increases your value. As a matter of fact, I know it increases your value if you can catch the ball out of the backfield. You can ask any offensive coordinator, any head coach, a running back that can catch the ball out of the backfield brings a, a totally different dimension to his offensive plan. Uh, and, and today's tip is going to kind of show you how to work on your hands when you don't have a quarterback around because you can't always have a quarterback spare or, you know, maybe your brother's there or your sister's there and she can't throw that well or he can't throw that well. Uh, so this, this is a little drill that I was taught when I was a young kid and um, I still practice it uh, pretty much daily every, every cause I, I have a ball in my house, I pretty much sleep with it. Um, so I, I practice it pretty much daily and it's, um, it's kind of it's throwing the ball to yourself. So as the cameraman follow me down to the ground, <clears throat> it's kind of, it's, it's really simple, really, really easy. Uh, I have another one after this, but uh, what you do is you kind of just lay back and you toss the ball to yourself. And while you're tossing the ball to yourself, you're always thinking that you're making a catch in the game, okay? So as you're tossing the ball, you want to toss it, you want to bring it in. Toss it and bring it in. Now, <clears throat> as you see these spectacular catches on ESPN or or your local news station, you start to see that you're making the same catches that they are. You saw that? It was way over here. It looked normal because I'm on the ground. But if, if I was to do that in real time, it would be a spectacular catch. And what I was taught when I was little is that you always make the spectacular catch every night on your bed. So when the game time comes, it's second nature. And that's basically what any drill is, is to make things second nature. And so as you start getting more comfortable and your hands start getting a little better, you start to challenge yourself. Do one-handed catches. One-handed catches to the left. Go low with it. Go back high with it. You basically got to challenge yourself every night in the bed. And, and you can do it 10, 15 minutes. But if you do something every single day, it's really not about what you do. It's about how often you do it. You know, um, if you do anything, you'll get you'll get better at it. Um, no matter how much you do it, you just constantly continue to rep it. Repetition, repetition. They say repetition is the mother of learning. This is the truth. So you're constantly having repetitions at catching the ball here, here, one-handed here, one-handed here. It'll start becoming second nature. And when those balls start coming to you. You're not even going to think about it. You're just going to pull them in. They say the most important part of a catch, it's not, you know, you see those 60-yard bombs on TV. It's, it's it, the most important part of the catch is the last six inches. The ball is here, from here to here. That's the most important part of a catch. And you do that every single night, then it just becomes second nature. Another drill you can do aside from laying down on your back uh, and talking to yourself is, uh, is standing up. Say you don't feel like laying down. You feel lazy when you lay down. That's fine. It's uh, it's catching the tip of the ball on its way down. Uh, gravity is a, is a force of nature that's a friend for you in football. If you constantly catch the tip of the ball, it increases the strength in your fingers, number one. And number two, it, t it teaches you how to catch the ball without catching the full ball. A lot of the times you see um, guys catch balls, you know, it'll, it'll be coming in like this and they'll catch the, the very tip of it. Um, that's because they practice that on a daily basis and, they, and their fingers are very strong. Um, so this drill, it really helps with your hand-eye coordination and, and it helps with the strengthening of your quick twitch muscles in your hands and getting the, uh, the ball cradled. So you just, nice and easy, back and forth, you catch the tip of the ball, catch the tip of the ball. It becomes really easy and once you get good, you can drop it a little lower, drop it a little lower. And uh, in doing so, your receiving ability will increase. You'll stay on the field a little longer on third downs. You know, us running backs, they, they like to shuffle us in and, in and out on third downs. So uh, show your coaches you can stay in on third down by catching the ball uh, consistently.
So this is Arian Foster with the tip of the day, and that's catching the ball by yourself.